June 18, 2023. The world watched in horror as five souls ventured to the depths of the Atlantic Ocean to visit the Titanic wreck aboard the Ocean Gate Titan Submersible. A dive that was supposed to be historic ended in tragedy. Today, we explore the final moments of the Titan, its fateful communication breakdown, and the challenges of underwater communication. The Ocean Gate Titan Submersible, designed to explore one of the world's most famous shipwrecks, the RMS Titanic, was an innovative vessel, but one that operated under extreme conditions. It carried five notable passengers, UK billionaire Hamish Harding, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, father and son duo Shazada and Sulman Dawood, and French explorer Paul Henry Nargelet. On June 16, 2023, the Titan was loaded aboard its support vessel, the Polar Prince, and set sail from St. John's, Newfoundland. The journey to the Titanic wreck, located 12,500 feet below sea level, was meant to be another routine expedition for Ocean Gate. But this time, something went horribly wrong. Communication is vital for any deep-sea expedition, especially when submersibles descend thousands of meters below the surface. Standard communication methods like radio waves don't work underwater due to water's density. Instead, submersibles like the Titan rely on text messaging transmitted through acoustic signals. Acoustic communication involves converting text into sound waves, which are then transmitted between the submersible and its support vessel. But acoustic communication is slow, prone to interference and often unreliable, especially at extreme depths. On the morning of June 18, 2023, the Titan began its descent to the Titanic. At 9.53 a.m., the Polar Prince asked the crew on the Titan if they could see the ship on their display. After 15 minutes of silence and several unanswered messages, a response finally came, all good here. This would be one of the last messages from the doomed submersible. The message was sent by French mariner Paul Henry Narjolet, who signed off as PH. At the time, the Titan was already at a depth of over 2,200 meters, facing extreme pressure. As the communication continued, the Polar Prince asked about the Titan's location in relation to the Titanic wreck, as well as reminders about scientific tasks. The last communication from the Titan came at 10.47 a.m., when the crew reported that they had dropped two weights, likely to adjust their buoyancy. Moments later, at 10.48 a.m., all communication was lost. The Titan, still descending, had reached over 3,300 meters in depth when disaster struck. The submersible imploded, killing all five aboard instantly. The implosion set off a global search and rescue operation with ships, planes, and underwater robots scouring the Atlantic for any sign of the Titan. Days later, debris from the submersible was found scattered on the ocean floor about 300 meters from the Titanic wreck. Segment 5, Underwater Communication and Safety Issues Investigations revealed that the Titan had experienced communication issues long before this fatal dive. The vessel's unconventional carbon fiber hull, combined with the challenges of underwater communication, created an unsafe environment. In fact, the Titan had previously suffered more than 100 equipment failures, leading to questions about its overall safety. Former OceanGate engineering director Tony Neeson testified at the U.S. Coast Guard's hearing, stating that he felt rushed to get the Titan operational and voiced concerns over its readiness. He revealed that the submersible had even been struck by lightning during a test mission which could have weakened its structure. Despite these warnings, the vessel continued its expeditions. Segment 6. Reflecting on the tragedy and future of undersea exploration. The Titan tragedy has sparked a wider debate on the future of private undersea exploration. The extreme depths of the ocean pose countless dangers, from the crushing pressure to communication difficulties. Moving forward, experts are calling for tighter regulations and oversight to prevent such tragedies from happening again. Jason Neubauer of the Coast Guard's Office of Investigations stated during the hearing, there are no words to ease the loss endured by the families impacted by this tragic incident, but we hope that this hearing will help shed light on the cause of the tragedy and prevent anything like this from happening again. Segment 7, Conclusion The final moments of the Ocean Gate Titan are a chilling reminder of the risks of deep-sea exploration. As we push the boundaries of technology and human endurance, it is crucial that safety and communication remain paramount in these extreme environments. 
Our hearts go out to the families of those lost aboard the Titan. Let this tragedy serve as a lesson for future explorers as we continue to uncover the mysteries of the deep. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of science, technology, and human ingenuity. Thank you for watching.